we are just days away from WWE's premium live event bash in Berlin and it's time to make my predictions as of Wednesday morning when I'm recording this there's only five matches on the card and I think it's gonna stay that way but we do have some very emotional matches going down let's get into it let's start off by talking about the WWE undisputed championship match between Cody Rhodes and Kevin Owens now we all know Cody Rhodes is winning this match it's just it's going to happen so let's just accept that fact love Kevin Owens this is not not the time for him but the question is how does Cody win and how does that match affect the future of the WWE well first things first Kevin Owens I believe will not turn heel I was wrong about my last time I predicted somebody not turning heel which was Dominic Mysterio but pretty confident on this one Kevin Owens is not turning heel the reason being and this is very very recent news here Machine Gun Kelly who we saw during Logan Paul's entrance at SummerSlam was just on Logan Paul's podcast and in that podcast apparently he he had some words and a half for Randy Orton backstage at SummerSlam. Apparently they have some beef. I don't know about it, but Kevin Owens just tweeted a picture of him and Randy Orton standing next to each other and a Logan Paul and Machine Gun Kelly. So I think they kind of just gave away the next phase for those four. <laughs> well, Machine Gun Kelly's not a superstar, but I think they just kind of maybe teased what may be coming up soon. And if that is true, if Kevin Owens and Randy Orton are going to team up against Logan Paul and against Machine Gun Kelly, I think that would be awesome. I think that that means that Kevin Owens is not going to turn heel and he's just going to lose this match in a very brave and courageous way but he's going to lose and there's going to be some little points where maybe he, he's about to turn heel but he's just teasing us Cody Rose is going to win it's going to be a banger match Kevin Owens delivers we know Cody's going to deliver and I think it's just going to lead to Kevin Owens and Randy Orton versus Logan Paul and Machine Gun Kelly at probably the next premium live event which sounds crazy but it's going to be entertaining and that's what it's all about in terms of the match I don't really have a lot to say I hope it's exciting it, there are no stipulations this is just like a pure i respect you you respect me we're friends babyface versus babyface let's have a good match moving on to the women's tag team championship match between the unholy union and bianca belair and jade cargill i actually have the unholy union winning in this match and i think that we're going to start seeing more of the turmoil or the little bit of tension between bianca and jade cargill i have this weird vision you remember that move where jade cargill does the big boot and it's super devastating i keep having this vision of her hitting that accidentally on bianca belair bianca's gonna sell the absolute heck out of it and then they're gonna capitalize and pin jade to win the match or maybe even bianca it doesn't really matter but i have a feeling there's gonna be some incidental contact there and that's gonna cost them the match so it's still a clean loss if you want to call it that but a dirty win for the unholy union uh they're doing great they're super active on all three brands as of late and they're getting a lot of love which is awesome and i think they're going to continue to hold the belts moving forward sounds like we're going to get jade and bianca at wrestlemania so just depends on getting there we got to start building that if they're not going to put the belts on bianca and jade and make them this like most powerful tag team ever then let's start building some tension give me the unholy union with the dub now let's talk about the strap match with cm punk and drew mcintyre i don't know about you guys i loved it but i was a little bit underwhelmed with their match at SummerSlam. i thought it was going to be bloody and cursing and an uncomfortable watch but it was just pretty basic there was definitely a lot of story in there and it was nice to have Seth be a part of it but it wasn't as dirty as I thought it was going to be I mean CM Punk choked them out they've said and done a lot of nasty things to each other and I think they needed a match like this with a stipulation like this and hopefully it's brutal it's uncomfortable and it's serious because this is the most personal rivalry in the WWE right now and I'm very excited for it and I actually do think Drew McIntyre will win this match even though it doesn't make sense and i think cm punk needs a dub here you know like you you came back and you lost the royal rumble you lost your match against drew are you gonna lose a third time i do actually have drew mcintyre winning this match for the same reason i had drew mcintyre winning this match at SummerSlam. i think seth rollins is gonna return i don't think seth rollins is actually that hurt he has been ridden off tv for some weeks now i guess it's possible that he comes back and fused with bronson reed right away because he took him out but it definitely makes sense to have seth and cm punk probably main event bad blood i don't know just an idea but like seth coming back to cost cm punk because remember the last time they were in the ring together they were about to go at it because cm punk laid out seth rollins at SummerSlam, and there's a lot of bad blood between the two so i could see seth rollins coming back 
costing CM Punk, Drew winning the match, and moving on, because I also think that Drew is going to be Gunther's next opponent. That's a conversation for later. Give me Drew McIntyre winning the strap match. Now let's talk the mixed tag team match between Damian Priest and Rhea Ripley versus Liv Morgan and Dominic Mysterio. Listen, I've never been more excited for a mixed tag in my entire life. The Terror Twins are awesome. Liv and Dom are awesome. The story in, in this match is what I'm looking forward to most. I'm looking for a moment where Rhea is in the ring with Dom and they have to go at it and Dom's trying to run away and Rhea grabs him by his hair or something. I'm looking for a lot of slaps. I'm looking for a lot of uh, a lot of like scummy, dirty moves from Liv and Dom. It's going to be good. It's going to be the most entertaining match of the night, in my opinion. I guess to continue the story, I want the Terror Twins to win, especially because they lost. They both lost at SummerSlam, and they are two of the biggest superstars in the WWE right now. To have them lose twice in a row would be kind of rough. So having them win here makes a little bit of sense. It doesn't really take any heat off of Liv Morgan because... Damien could be pinning Dominic to end the match or whatever. And then this could lead to a match of bad blood with Rhea and Liv, maybe in a steel cage or a hell in a cell or something crazy because that could definitely happen. So give me the Terror Twins with the dub and Liv and Dom are running home. And finally, let's talk about the World Heavyweight Championship match between Gunther and Randy Orton. I'm one of the biggest Randy Orton fans out there. I would love for Randy Orton to win this match. He's not gonna. He's just not. It's gonna be a great match. There's gonna be some close calls. He's gonna RKO the hell out of Gunther out of nowhere. I just I just know he's not gonna win, and I don't love that, but it is what it is. Gunther is awesome. Gunther is once in a generation, and I, I get it. It's gonna be a brutal match, and Randy Orton is gonna sell like no other as usual. They're both gonna look awesome, but at the end of the day, Gunther is just gonna be too much for Randy Orton to overcome, and this leads to my other prediction super random but again machine gun kelly had some words for randy orton back at SummerSlam and called him out on the logan paul podcast and now i think randy orton and kevin owens are gonna do a tag team match against logan paul and machine gun kelly it makes all the sense in the world i don't love that for randy orton's legacy but i think it's probably gonna happen because him versus cody it's not going to happen anytime soon, in my opinion, but I think we're going to slowly but surely get there. I see that being a thing in the near future. I think that tag team match with Randy and Kevin is realistic, and I just don't see Randy Orton beating Gunther, but I, God, I'll be the happiest person on the planet if he does. Give me Gunther with a dub against Randy Orton. Side note, I think Gunther's next opponent is going to be Sami Zayn because he's not a part of the Intercontinental Championship tournament right now. Uh, it could also be Drew McIntyre after he's done with CM Punk, and it could also be Ilya Dragunov. Either one of those options, I'm down. Those are my predictions. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. I'm excited. It's a good pay-per-view. Although, I do feel like this entire pay-per-view is predictable. I genuinely feel like all five of my predictions are going to be correct. But I hope I'm wrong. Because that makes wrestling fun. So, we'll see what happens. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Bash in Berlin. It's going to be good.